This is Bwindi Impenetrable Forest National Park in southwestern Uganda. These tourists are making the hours long trek into the mountains to have a glimpse of Uganda's mountain gorillas. It would be very easy to assume that seeing gorillas is just like seeing any other animal, you know, going to visit the chimpanzees or seeing lions, any of the, the famous animals, but it's not. There's, uh, there's something very special about the gorillas that you just cannot put into words. But yes, we, we got to see them for quite some time, or it felt like quite some time, went very slowly. Uh, we got some very good views of them and they seemed very relaxed, which was really important to us. While gorilla tracking is a unique and usually once in a lifetime experience, it is an involving process to make gorillas learn that humans do not pose a threat. Habituation is a process of making gorillas get used to human beings. And uh, sometimes when we identifying the group to habituate, this group is very aggressive. And uh, sometimes it is even coming, coming to attack us. But uh, we have uh, a team of uh, very many people who go and identify this group and we make sure this group, whenever it's coming to attack us, we overpower it. And uh, it is a process that takes about three to two to three years, depending on the number of the individuals in the group. Ongoing COVID-19 restrictions limit the group number to eight people who spend approximately one hour with the gorillas. Visitors are also required to stay 10 meters away to protect the gorillas from other infections in addition to coronavirus such as influenza. Local communities living alongside the gorillas say their lives have changed for the better. We have a hospital which is Bwindi Community Hospital just because of the gorillas. If they were not there, I don't know where these women would be right now. So the health of the community members has also improved because of the gorillas. Look at the women they are earning. These are women who are never going to school. They are not educated. But right now, they know they are going to work. Every morning when they wake up, they're like, oh, even when they call them, they're like, I am at work. The financial benefit and tourism it brings to Uganda is also helping protecting these creatures. The gorillas are protected under the Uganda Wildlife Act that aims to conserve all endangered species in the country. Gorillas totaling to around 1,600 the world over are mainly found in Uganda, Rwanda and the Democratic Republic of Congo. Chamgono, CGTN.